lot of times, in fact, most times, ministries mishandle claims of abuse. Actually, there was a study done about five years ago where sexual assault victims were asked, who did you think would be the most helpful when you were abused? And churches and pastors were number one and two in that study. Then the victims were asked the follow-up question, who actually was the most helpful when you were abused? And when they asked that question, Christian organizations, churches ranked dead last behind the option of other. So we do have a chronic problem in evangelicalism with being able to respond well to abuse. And there are a lot of reasons for that. But a primary one is, A, it's, it really boils down to our theology, our theology of authority, oftentimes our theology of counseling, uh, mishandling doctrines like the sufficiency of Scripture. The sufficiency of Scripture is something we all subscribe to. But a lot of times in conservative churches and organizations in particular, what that means is we don't get training from somebody who's actually an expert in the field, both in recognizing the signs of abuse, understanding abusive dynamics, knowing what trauma looks like, knowing what evidence looks like. And so we're not equipped to handle those things. And ultimately, we're not equipped because of a theological hangup. And that's part of why it's so difficult to turn the tide in Christian organizations is because when you start talking about these issues, the immediate response is, oh, these people are bitter and angry. They want to destroy the church, um, you know, and, and they're attacking us for our theology. And it actually makes ministries batten down the hatches harder instead of getting the help they need. Yeah. We also absolutely have dynamics of being afraid of liability rather than trusting that God is going to do with our ministry exactly what he's intended for it to do. And understanding that as Christians, we are called to bring light into the darkness. But again, that's a theological concept. We, we say it, but we don't act like it. Mm. And so we have, it's really our theology. We need to understand our theology well, and then we need to live it out accurately.